Hey, what's up guys? I'm on Arts here, and today I'm making a tutorial on render settings in Cinema 4D and how to choose the right render settings and what render settings I would recommend. So before I get into the tutorial, I just want to apologize. I haven't made a video in a week. Just been um, on vacation, so I haven't really had that much time to make videos. But I'll be uploading videos more frequently, like starting now. Alright, so let's get into the tutorial. So to edit the render settings, you're just going to simply click this button right here. And now we have the render settings. So we're going to start with the output. Um, your main decision here is whether you want to do 1080p HD or 720p HD. So 1920 by 1080 is 1080p HD, which is basically like the highest uh, render quality. Obviously you could go higher, but and you also have the option of doing 1280 by 720 so obviously the 1080 version is going to be a lot sharper better quality and it will also take about one and a half times to two times as long to render based on the renders I've done with it I personally would definitely recommend 1920 by 1080p because the, um, the render quality difference is really noticeable and it looks a lot better but that's up to you whether you want to sacrifice to render time that might be about two times longer but I'm gonna put it at 1920 by 1080 now for the frame range you're gonna want all frames okay now we're gonna go on to save for the format if you're gonna render an image you're gonna want JPEG but that's not what we're doing we're gonna to wanna to use QuickTime Movie because we're rendering a movie. Now, if we don't have a background and we want to make our own background in, for example, Adobe After Effects or Sony Vegas, we're going to check off Alpha Channel and then our video will render without a background. But if we have, for example, a floor or a background or something that we made in Cinema 4D that's going to be the background, we're going to leave Alpha Channel unchecked. That's pretty much it for the save category. Okay, now for um, anti aliasing for those of you who don't know, anti-aliasing pretty much determines the quality of the reflections and the shadows in your render. So this is pretty much the average quality. Um, if you want it to look better, it will take longer to render, but you can put this at best. And the settings I usually use, I put this at best. Threshold at 12% and max level at 2x2. Two and the threshold pretty much is the quality so the lower the number the higher quality and the longer the render so 12 is a pretty good number um now you probably know this we're gonna wanna add ambient occlusion and global illumination pretty much for every intro I make I add those two effects and ambient occlusion basically makes the shadows really realistic and global illumination makes the lighting realistic it allows the light to bounce off from surface to surface so these are definitely both necessary for aim and occlusion the settings that default are pretty good but this is the R12 settings um, in R11 it will or R11.5 the settings will automatically be a lot higher but it's not really necessary so the good settings for this you want the maximum ray length 100 Dispersion 100%, accuracy 50%, minimum samples 10, maximum samples 64, and the contrast to zero. And that's good for ambient inclusion. For global illumination, um, you can keep the general as it is. And for the irritants catchy, for these two boxes to stochastic samples, put that at low. Record density, also put that at low. Smoothing put that at weak and oversampling put that at minimal and those are pretty solid settings for ambient occlusion and global illumination now um, pretty much the last thing we can do we can save this render setting so we don't have to make it every single time we open Cinema 4D so all I have to do is go to render setting save preset and I am going to call this H er, 1080p HD intro I spelled it wrong whatever so I'm just gonna click OK I'm 
Alright, so now let's say X this out, new project, and we're going to start out with these, you know, default crappy render setting. To load your new render setting, all you have to do is click right here on render setting, go to load preset, and use whichever one you saved it as. I saved it as 1080p HD intro. And now you can see we have our settings. But to activate them, we need to click this little white box right here. And now we're on the settings. And you can see we don't have to make them every time. So that pretty much wraps up the tutorial. Try out the settings. If it's taking more than like five or six hours to render, you might want to decrease the render settings. Like, for example, put it at 720p HD. But that's the end of the tutorial. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you found this helpful. Please like the video, and if you want, you can suggest a tutorial in the comment section. Thanks for watching, guys.